Right, something has been missing from my life for a month or two now, and I'm glad to say that it has returned. Nasirenang. Okay, we're going to give this a go. This is the Spanish version of rendang. Um, it already looks a little bit different from what I'm used to. Um, that's a pho there, the Vietnamese um, noodles, and Malaysian satay. Um, so I'm quite excited. That's the venue. We're here in the uh, Chueca in uh, central Madrid. And um, bon appetit. All right, the opinion of that was nothing special really predictably enough it was always going to be that way there was no way it was going to be proper rendang and it was not even it wasn't rendang at all i don't know what it was some kind of um like a, almost like a goulash or something like that really it weren't really like goulash either but you know beef curry anyway that's what i'd have called that on the menu beef curry quite nice quite a tasty beef curry but definitely not a rendang um this one reckons the foe was no good as well, but she fucking complains about everything, so I wouldn't take that with... Everything's I, wrong. I, I would take that with a pinch of salt. Um, How about satay? And the satay, I liked the satay, but it was definitely like chicken tikka with some peanuts sprinkled on top of it. And the so, peanuts is not right. It's not right powder. Yeah, Sorry. that might be true. So, um, yeah. But it was alright, it was an enjoyable meal, it was tasty enough for me and wasn't overly expensive, was it, you know? So, there you go, that's took a bit of Asian food in Madrid. But in Spain you spend 30 euros for a meal and... Oh yeah, that is true, yeah. You can get a really, really yummy food. 30 euros we paid, so I'm saying it's not overly expensive, but this is again London comparison going on in my mind. She's right, you are right, actually. 30 euros could have bought a really nice meal in a lot of places. And this looks like it's a strip club or something. Oh, it's got to be, judging by the clientele piling out. Can we go in there? 